Hey guys, so the biggest dilemma we've had with using Tesla Sentry Mode all these years is whether to keep it on or disable it permanently. The greatest downside to using Tesla Sentry Mode has to be the power drain that it takes from your vehicle and the amount of power that it uses as all the 8 cameras and sensors are active to detect threat. It is extremely hard to put an exact number on it but as it consistently draws power from your vehicle, I would say that 1% for every hour Power that is active is quite fair. This draw can be greatly exaggerated if you live in the colder climates and the heating elements of those cameras have to stay active throughout the night. So for this reason alone, myself and the majority of people around me disable sentry mode as soon as we take delivery of our cars, although this does lead to leaving our car more vulnerable to everything around it, especially inside of Costco parking lots. So really, being that this is one of Tesla's exclusive key features, it's very saddening to hear that we have to disable it. Now not all is bad. Although Tesla doesn't officially publish the details, there is a safety net built inside of sentry mode that automatically shuts off all the camera as soon as it hits 20% state of charge. This is essentially a precaution, making sure that all the electronics in the vehicles work even though the system is active and it gives you a buffer so you have enough time and enough range to go to a charging station to top up your vehicle. So honestly, even though I am bringing this up, it's blown out of proportion just a little bit because there are these features built in place to make sure that there is no issue and for those daily commutes there shouldn't be an issue at all and of course for those extended trips that you don't have a home charger or a supercharger nearby you know at least that there is this feature that won't shut off automatically and give you about 20% to drive to the next charging station. Alright so with all that being said there is some really great news and a lot of interesting stuff happening behind the scenes with sentry mode. It has been a very long time since we've seen any drastic update to this feature but Tesla is finally putting some effort into making sentry mode much better and much more efficient overall. Just earlier this week, Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Drew Belingo has agreed that sentry mode uses way too much power. In a response to a user on X questioning whether there will be a fix for the vampire drain that is happening on all vehicles that have sentry mode active Drew responded that yes, there is going to be a fix coming very soon and the efficiency improvement is going to be about 40%. Now the ETA he has given us is Q2 of this year, meaning that we should be seeing it around April to June and this is going to be a massive reduction, hopefully allowing us to keep the system on all the time without worrying about any additional power drain. Now my biggest concern to all this is not whether it's going to happen or not, it's the fact that 40% reduction in in energy consumption is a very big number. Keep in mind that sentry mode retains all the system power, the active cameras, and the heating elements, and in a software engineering's perspective, there is only really two scenarios here that could lead to them improving the system. Now the first one here that I would think is the main contributing factor is that they've implemented really bad codes into this feature from the very beginning. So what they're really doing now to achieve this 40% reduction purely through software is that they're going to refine the codes to make it what it should have been from the very beginning. The majority of this reduction is likely going to happen within the CPU. It's going to be less taxing overall to crunch all these data and this is where we're going to see the most drastic differences. Now the next possibility here that really crosses my mind is if they are going to be removing important features that are coming from the stem of sentry mode. Things such as the additional sensors that go in conjunction with the camera system is now going to be disabled and the recording quality overall is going to be reduced. Then there's other minor features that are just as important and and they may be removing such as the flashing headlights and the flashing taillights as soon as it detects a threat. And then you have also the most visual one which is the display with the sentry mode active. This is probably going to be disabled so it can save as much energy as possible. This is where the full overall 40% reduction is likely to come from. Now of course there may be a variation to this or everything that I have mentioned combined and this is where we're going to get the final number from the codes to the features being disabled. There is going to be a major change to the backbone of sentry mode and there is going to be a lot of things happening that may be bringing us a much longer lifespan than what we should be seeing now. Ultimately I might be wrong with all this and there is some magic happening behind the scenes 
use and we are going to be getting 40% reduction or 40% efficiency in the feature. So this is where you can keep it on active all the time. So fingers crossed for all this and hopefully the phrase of vampire drain is no longer correlated to Tesla and Sentry mode in the future. Let me know your guys' thoughts on all this and if there is a possibility there is more than 40% reduction in the system overall. This would be mind blowing to say the least but there is a lot more I want to share with you guys in the next couple of videos so make sure you stay tuned and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And of course follow me on x at heyjohne over there you guys can chat with me and DM with me and if you want to support the channel you guys already know where to go. This is John thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.